the Lewis structure Lewis structure of dichloromethane dichloromethane so number one you need to determine number of valence electrons so that's gonna be one carbon two hydrogens two chlorines contribution the carbon is four because it's in group four hydrogen is each of them is one because in group one and chlorine each of them is seven so you have a total of 20 electrons to account for then arrange the atoms in space with hydrogens being terminal and the least electronegative element in the middle so that's gonna be carbon and since we have so carbon is gonna be in the middle hydrogens will be terminal and chlorine I told you is a halogen those two always come terminal so and then try form a bond try form a bond by putting lone pair of electrons in between so so far you've accounted for eight electrons out of the out of the 20 electrons you've used eight electrons so you're remaining with 12. now the hydrogen is happy because a duet the carbon is happy because an octet this hydrogen is happy because it has a maximum of two but the chlorine is not happy it's lacking six here it's lacking six it's only having two so since we have 12 electrons to account for we're gonna spread six six per chlorine to make each chlorine octets so now that this chlorine is a this chlorine is an octet state this chlorine is an octet state, the carbon is an octet state, hydrogen is duet, hydrogen is duet, that's the Lewis structure of dichromethane. And again, according to Rowling's shell electron repulsion theory, the structure is not as planar as you see it. Better yet, you can draw it like something like this to show the tetrahedral geometry. Because you're looking to have something like this with the central atom in the middle. That's coming in the upcoming class lecture I'll tell you about that okay all right so that's the Lewis structure of dichloromethane so you can practice and find the Lewis structure of carbon tetrachloride it should be similar to this